Hi, welcome to Onshape video tutorial. I want to do that connecting rod exercise in Onshape. Very similar to the Kati version because I couldn't do the fillets here with the fillet tool. I had to put those arcs into the sketch. So let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, so let's start with some planes. One which is parallel to the right plane and the distance should be 750. And confirm. Another one with a distance to this one which should be 30. And another one with minus 30 which is not possible so go for 30 and reverse and confirm and the last one which is a distance to the top plane of 20 millimeters no not 20 millimeters but 95 divided by 2 and confirm Now let's start with a sketch on the front plane. Like this. And I need a rectangle, which should start here and go over there. Okay. And add a collinearity or a coincidence. So this point should be in that plane and the distance from that line to this one, sorry, undo and that's the dimension to so this one should be 45 divided by Two. Confirm this one. And now let's make a revolve with that sketch. And the revolve axis should be this line. Full, that's okay. And confirm. Okay, another sketch on the front plane another rectangle and with my dimensioning here this should be 55 and the distance from that plane in that direction should be 135 minus 40. We will see if we can do it like this. And let's move it over here. And that distance should be 61. Then add a coincidence between this one and that one. Confirm that sketch, leave and make another revolve with that sketch right here. And the axis should be that line. And it should be added, yes, and confirm. Next sketch again on the front plane, another rectangle, over here, and the dimension here should be again 55. this dimension 
should be 105 minus 40. And this dimension should be 105. Add another coincidence between this one and that plane. Confirm that sketch. Make another revolve with that sketch. Select this as axis and add it to the already existing solid and confirm. Now let's check if the fillets are possible. So I've checked and it's not possible. Same problem as in Katia. Up to this moment I could do it only in an X because I could use an option in the fillet or round command. So I will have to change not this sketch but that sketch in order to get the fillets right. I will do it again with a circle. The diameter of that circle should be 80. Now let's align this point with that one like this and add another dimension so that's 40 and that's 55 so that distance I think I cannot constrain it as I did in Katia and NX, or I would have done in NX. So we'll have to do it like this. And this should be, I suppose, 60. Let's see. Nope, not 60, but that's 45 in diameter, so I have to add. 2.5 so it should be 6 2.5 I suppose yes now let's trim this should go away this should go away and that should go away confirm and so this distance here is exactly the one I want it to be. Now I could add a fillet here on that edge with 10 degrees and there another one with 55 degrees. So let's add those. Go for a fillet. Not degrees but millimeters. 55 on this edge. Confirm. And another one with 10 millimeters on that one. Confirm. But then I have to dimension that in a different way probably because it's 135 minus 40. I have to go for 135 and confirm. Nice. Then I want to edit sketch 3. So same procedure. Go for a circle, diameter 80. Make this point coincident to that line. Add a dimension from the point to this line this should be 62.5 then trim and change that one to 105 105 confirm okay now let's try to add the 65 
fillet here. Let's see if that works. The non shape on this one. Yes. And confirm. Great. Now let's split that part. So go for a split. I want to split which part? That part one. And I want to split it with this plane and possibly with the other one as well. But that doesn't work, so it could go only for one at the moment. So let's go for this one and confirm. And let's hide. this one and no that's wrong on that one then split once more that's part three with this plane confirm let's check this should be hidden that should be hidden like this Now I want to make here a revolve, so I want to go for a sketch on the top plane. On this one, sketch. And I need a circle. Diameter should be 2 times 165. That's 3. 30. No, because it's on the small side, this <laughs> should be 110. Sorry. Move it here. Now let's add a rectangle. Put that point onto the midpoint which is here, midpoint, but we have to put a point onto the middle because, see, so go for a point, put it right there, and make it the midpoint, like this, now put this one onto that one. Give it some dimensions. This could be one fifty. That distance might be yeah, one hundred. Let's see if this or it's already yeah, I snapped. Okay, great. Now I need another line here, like this. Make it for construction only. This one should have a distance from that plane. And that distance should be 60. And then I need a distance from that point here. That's not possible. That's sad. So let's trim first. Okay. And I have to subtract 55 from 165 which means it's 110 from the point to that axis so go here go to that point and make this one 110 Close that sketch. 
And now I want to make a revolve, but I want to subtract. Go for revolve, remove, this one, revolve axis should be that one. And not fully, but symmetric. And let's go for 30 degrees. Oh, that's maybe 70 degrees. Symmetric, yes. Revolve angle 70 degrees. And the merge scope should be real. This one looks okay. So confirm. Let's add another fillet with 10 millimeter on this edge and that edge and confirm. Okay, looks good. I could hide this plane, that plane, yeah, and hide that part, or maybe rename this one. And this will be the rod. Okay, let's hide it. A new sketch on the front plane. That will be a circle. And diameter should be 70. A rectangle, which could look something like this. Okay, and that dimension should be fifty five. This dimension should be fifty four. And of course, it should be symmetric. So if you go for symmetric, this edge and that edge should be symmetric to this one. Now let's trim. And of course, I lost the dimension. I should have done it to the point or to that plane like this. Confirm. Make an extrude. Make it symmetric. It's a new body, yes, with this one. And let's go for 70 symmetric. And confirm. Now for another new part, I need a sketch on that plane, the top plane. Go here, maybe hide the part six. That will be a rectangle, which is Forty four by thirty. And that's the other way around. So this should be forty four, and that distance should be thirty. Now, the distance between that point and this line should be 36. And of course, it should be symmetric to that.
lane. Confirm. Let's make an extrude with that sketch. Make it symmetric. And let's go for 130. Okay. Now I need two fillets. One fillet on this edge, one on that edge. And the radius should be 15. And confirm. Maybe show this one. Okay. Then we need another sketch right on that plane 4. This will be another circle. That snap here, yes. And the diameter of this one should be 30. No, not 30, but 54. 54. And the distance between this point and that point should be 56 plus 9, that's 65. And that's wrong. So why is this wrong? This should be okay, maybe that dimension was wrong, so I will confirm that sketch, because th this should be 56 plus 9. That's definitely not wrong, so okay. Let's check the sketch before this one. This might be wrong. It's 44 and 36. Yeah, that's correct as well. So where is my problem? 56. Oh yeah, I see. And that sketch. This is 56, not 65. 56. That's it. Okay. Now let's make another extrude. Make it a new one, yes. And maybe 20 or 25 here yeah, 25 should do and it seems it added it to yeah I want it to be a new one now I want to mirror this one onto the other side so go for mirror I want to mirror that part this would be the mirror plane and don't merge it or merge it with all yeah no with part seven there yeah, it's okay confirm and now make a union between those two union this one and that one and confirm now this should be patterned in that direction maybe show our rod yeah it looks okay yeah it looks quite good so now make a linear pattern and make it a new one yes the direction yeah, for the direction you need a line, so I have to go for a line first. So make a sketch right there, confirm, and I just need a line which starts I'm not in a sketch, obviously. Okay, now I'm in the sketch. Draw a line like this, make it for construction only, confirm. Now I could go for my pattern, 
I want to make a part pattern, yes, I want to pattern this part or body in that direction and the distance should be 750. Confirm and now I want to subtract so go to boolean subtract tool this will be this one and that one and the target is this one and confirm what's left to do is a hole here and a hole there for the hole I would need a sketch point so I could do it with a sketch and an extrude as well so let's go for another sketch on that plane make it a circle diameter should be 8 confirm now let's make an extrude and remove it from the already existing solid so the sketch would be sketch 9 make it in one direction up to next and in the second direction also, also up to next that should do the trick and confirm now I want to pattern that feature pattern not a part but a feature this feature direction should be in that sketch here so that's this direction make it 750 and confirm and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page by the way you can download the pdf for this exercise on my GrabCat account thanks for watching see you till next one bye bye